So I've always wanted to stop here. When we drive past it, we're on our way to York. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my God. That looks nice. We've hit the hill. We knew it was coming. <laughs> Let's have a look at what you need shaving. One side here is like a bushy bush. And this side's like a shaving bush. stop at this cafe to hopefully get some uh, takeaway little picnic bits for our walk and the shop next door has some trackers so I'm gonna get those and they also had snaps provisions got back on with his way up at this little uh, picnic spot and uh, there's a little cafe here it's called Fimber picnic site there we go so I've always wanted to stop here when we drive past it we're on our way to York we always go past this and I always said it looks like a nice place to have a little uh, stop and it looks like there's um, walks and things on that way so we're just gonna get something here and then uh, take it around for a walk what cakes cakes Right, we've just been speaking to the cafe owner and he actually says there is, there is no walks here, it is just a picnic site and with, it's just surrounded by um, roads. So the only way to walk here is up there and then round and it comes back there. So we might do that and then um, we'll just go and wander elsewhere. There's a little playground here as well. So it's a nice little spot to come for a picnic. Um, they've got toilets here and we're going to uh, try a like a Cornish pasty warmed up with a cup of tea uh, which he's doing us now and then we'll just find somewhere to explore uh, so no there we go cup of tea lots of bird muck careful we all that bird muck i'm checking and what about this putting that right. right so it's like a what's it giraffe it? um it's a cornish pasty but it looks i thought that was solid meat at side yeah, but i got it weighs a ton break it in two and let's have a look Ooh. Oh my goodness, wow, oh my god. That looks nice. Yeah, you have that huge humongous piece. Nice cup of tea. In fact, that was one of the best cup of tea I've had in a long time. That guy did really well then. Um, so this apparently is the only walk here. It's just a picnic area, it's yeah. not actually a walk. It's really nice though to come down. There's like um, chairs up there as well and tables. But uh, we'll just go around this little walk. We have picked a walk. We're just gonna, it's just a couple of miles up the road and then it's yeah. gonna be like a five and a half mile walk to do. But if you like, um, like birds and things, there's loads of different birds here. And, Name uh, one. Well, I don't know the names of birds, but they, they were colourful. I can hear what? them tweeting. You've seen them? Yeah. We got to the other end and it, this is just more picnic tables. So if you are in the area, fancy a picnic, or if you haven't brought anything, you're fine because there's that uh, hut with uh, lots of nice food they had as well, didn't they? Like sausage mm. rolls, homemade cakes, homemade cakes. Yeah, an apple pie that we were slicing in the diff. Yeah. It looked very nice with cream. And the place is called Fimber Picnic Site. So Lee's just been to spend a penny before we go on as a six miler. Spent a penny? Have you spent a penny? Yeah, What? Have you a penny? Right, come on, let's head up to Sledmere, which is where we're going to start our route. We're parking in the Triton Inn because Sledmere House is closed today, and if that's open when we get back, we'll have a drink. Uh, I just want to show you this garden. You can actually go in and buy Sweet Williams for 50p a bunch, which I'm guessing is that. And just look how uh, beautiful that uh, garden is. Where are we going? 
Where are we going? Where are we going? That way. Let's go. These red houses here are all from a, the Sledmere house, is that right? Yeah, there was some kind of demolition or fire yeah. that destructed them, so they rebuilt the village yeah. using all the red bricks. So they used all the red bricks from the, um, whatever it was, the house that was burnt down or something, and they built all this little town with the red bricks. just love the canoe app it takes you so many places that you would never possibly dream and diverting off the main road but um, I'm not impressed with it at the minute because it's taking us up a massive hill yeah but we knew that well yeah it does it, it has marked the route as intermediate so uh, it's very warm today it's lovely and the sun's trying to get out as well at the minute we're we're, we're benefiting from it being in behind the cloud so Look at the cornfield there, and you can actually hear the crickets. Let me see if I can get closer. No, they've stopped because I got near. Right, so we have to go to the top of this hill, and then we're heading behind that wood, and then it's another four mile back to the car, which is basically over all that moorland. finding the path where we're going just got to show you these views look at those beautiful views so many fields and little village down there that looks to be all like red brick as well what it looks like there's another oh is it all through grass and stuff um, another path down there if you want to go on there path on there if you want to go on there but uh, we're going on here Right, I reckon now we're past halfway. Yeah. So the blue line is the route, the red line is what we've done. We actually cut that corner off to save a bit of time. So we're now we're now there. We have point three and then back to the car at point B at Sledmere. This is a good app. So mm -hmm. it is brilliant That's actually. Just passing lots of boxes. Not sure what they're for. We've hit the hill. We knew it was coming. <laughs> How it's, far now? Hold on. How long have we got to go? This has got to go for a lot further before it comes down again. 5% gradient now, and we are 1.03 miles back to where the car is. <laughs> we have walked, so far, 4.62 miles, with another 1.03 miles to go. How much further? Oh, not long. My hat is just plunked on my head. About 400 yards is the main road where we parked James before we set off doing the loop. Currently at about five and a half miles, another third of a mile to go, I'd say, something like that. My feet's hurting now. Mine, mine actually feel like they're bleeding. Right, we've made it to the um, road. That's Sledmere House there, which we have done on a vlog, actually, if you ever want to see that. Just passing the War Memorial uh, Monument. It's the Wagner's. Wagner's, it's Wagner's Memorial. Mon it was yeah. built in 1919 to 1920 and became a Grade 2 listed building in 1966 and it was built by the Sir Mark Sykes, the 6th Baronet, or Baroness, whatever, Baronet um, of Sledmere. Mm. So it's got lots of th things about the First World War on. Look at those guys there. They're proper angry. So how far back to the car now? Uh, 300 yards. -ish. I'm hoping the pub's are going to be open where we uh, park, but uh, we're not holding much hope. I think it's closed. I was actually saying that up there as well. St. Mark, Mark Sykes, Baronet, Bar 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 Wagner's. Wagner's, oh. yeah. <gasps> My God, my feet are killing me. Lee's moaning and effing and blinding because the door keeps shutting on his head. Should be door my, open. My feet feel like somebody's sanded them with sandpaper. 
So we're actually going to call off now, probably, Are depending we? on what we find on the way back. Maybe a sandwich or something like that. Should we call <sighs> off at Lutton Cranswick Farm Shop? Get what? a cheese sandwich? What? Well, I could. Right, let's get on the road. <laughs> Sticky toffee pudding, the ones mm, that we've been go. getting from the lake district, they're so nice, them. They don't have the apple crumble one though. Which is it just the normal fantastic. one? Yeah. We, it's fine by me, that's, the normal one is beautiful. Wow. Right, so we're just going to get something for tomorrow night's tea, hopefully. And then um, maybe go for a, uh, a quick cuppa. Pepper, mange two, and baby sweet corn. And then we're going to get these chicken kebabs, which look beautiful. Ooh, what's them? Stuffed lamb joint. Ooh, no. Yum. Mm. Called at the uh, farm shop cafe. Just going to share a nice roast ham and chutney um, sandwich and a cup of tea. Mm. It's really fruit, actually. Mm. Proper chutney. Right, we're back in the car, on our way back to the lodge, thoroughly knackered. Um, we shared a sandwich because we didn't want to sort of negate all the calories we'd just burnt off because we're trying to be a bit, li a little bit more healthy. Um, but we have made a decision that we've not actually mentioned in the vlogs. So we're actually going to start having one thing we used to do when we first got the lodge is, and we did it for about a month, didn't we? Right, we used to that. eat out once a week on an evening, right. and we never ever do that. We just go to cafes during the day and have like toaster curry tea cakes and things like that. So we're going to start vow vouching to do what's the right word? Date nights. Date nights. We're gonna we're gonna commit to doing date nights and going out and having meals at different places so sort of in the area here meal. in the area here and in the area over at the apartment so um, just explore new places yeah just a, a, a new place each time yes right when we went to the um, farm shop today you saw we got these and they look absolutely amazing they smell delicious actually i can smell them through the packet chicken kebabs so i'm gonna have those and with a little stir fry or something with these things yeah, I'll make a garlic butter and we'll just stir fry them with them. And um, you can probably put some, put some Henderson's on it or something like that. And I'll need to put oven on, yeah? Yeah. You smell the garlic? It's got hot garlic sauce, butter, and five cloves of garlic all mixed in. I can't smell the butter, the garlic yet. Je ne sais quoi. It's a French recipe. Is it? Yeah. I just made it. There. Well, they look ready there. to me. Oh. Yeah, they're done. I'll set the smoke alarm off. Is it ready? Yeah. Well, have you, we'll turn oven off then. Well, I've got to wait for the stir fry to do. Are well, you going to burn them? Not going to burn. Mm. These look very nice, I must say. That garlicky smell's gone from when, we, when I took them out of the packet. I might, I might need a bit of sweet chilli sauce on. Maybe. Just to um, spice them up a bit. Oh, I love that sizzling sound. It sounds like when you go to a restaurant and they bring your um, this is very helpful, hot sizzling fajitas on a... Like one of those hot plates. We'll ruin it afterwards with oh. having some sticky toffee pudding. Well, there's only a little bit left. I was just nicely relaxing then. Christ. Can you smell that? What? The smell in here. That rituals. I put it in and it's absolutely so potent. I'm going to take some sticks out. Fascinating. You smell it though? Yeah. Oh, bloody gorgeous. Mm. I've been summoned to shave. Let's have a look at what you need shaving. One side here is like a bushy bush, and this side's like a shaving bush. So I want you to debush me. Freak I did it this morning by myself, and obviously it didn't work. I can't see what number's on there. No. Nope. You want me to do it number one? No, I, love need it. It. I need it on number three this morning. That's number four. Is that number three? It tells you, there's a thingy on the front. Number, number three. You want me to do number three? That's a bit sharp. I did it on number three this morning. Mm. Like, literally, go straight up. I know how to shave. But I, it's I, not I coming off. Hair all I think summer, you need to put it on number two, that now. bottom. It's not doing all. Not happening. I'm you not sure two. it's a good idea with the camera in my hand. You need number two. <laughs> okay. You must be pissing blind. What? I look what? like a patchwork quilt. You've just hacked a bit off. Look at me. There's nothing wrong with it. 
if yeah, you've you've took some off, but you just kind of. I haven't. It. It's certainly better, but it still feels thick and bushy at the back. You look fine. You're a good little house husband, aren't you? Hmm. Hmm. It's about time you got up and all. I've just been editing for a while. Let's open the curtains. It's a I bit. Think you're um, go home today. We won't go home today. It's a bit gloomy. Right. We're not going home today. We're going home tomorrow. So it's the next day, guys. So last night after uh, I shaved Nick's head, we um, watched some Once Upon a Times because we got right back into it again, haven't we? After getting a bit bored with it, we got right back into it. What I don't understand, right, is that how the hell I can't remember any of the storylines. I know. The characters are in it, and I know that Emma were going to turn dark. I'm sure I'm going bald again. What? I'm sure I'm going bald again. The shedding phase. Why is it less? Well, I think it looks a bit less on front. Don't you? The front has always looked a little bit less, actually. Because they've, they've kind of wispy hairs there. Never look. Come and show. Come and show. So we're about three and a half weeks-ish now into... Yeah, there's some falling out there. Just a tiny little bit. Turn your head round. So this is three and a half weeks. So the, the, the fringe has got thin, but the tuft in the middle at the front, that's there. So that's my normal hair that hasn't yeah. been transplanted. Hold that and I can point. Head and, down. And um, here's a little bit shedded. Ooh, here's a little bit shedded, that so little we, spot. We've explained before that usually after a hair transplant, that's intact. The hair sheds. And now I'm looking at this floor like this, I need to vacuum today. Why is your hair falling out? And I need to do some uh, ironing today as well. It's right. a day of talk. Finish the vlog. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. And uh, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you on the next vlog where Nick will be trying to go home, but we're not. Every time we've said this, we're not this the time. next scene's been in the car. See you later. See you in the car next scene. Next vlog.